What up? This is Shan and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? Hey y'all, what's up? This is Cozy Moon Podcast and this is episode 71 for Kids in Therapy. And this is an interesting topic and a good timing topic because I'm looking to take my five-year-old to therapy. Why? Because I feel like it can um, help her currently with some behavior issues that she's having at school. Um... What I really didn't like is the fact that her school took about four months to tell me they've been dealing with a behavior issue with her at school. Uh, When I went for her parent-teacher conference, they were saying that um, she's energetic and she interacts well well with other children and she's familiar um, with adults most of the time. She is confident and shows self-direction in choosing activities She is learning how to follow class rules. We would also like to see her work on using her words to express her feelings and express her um, emotions to handle conflict appropriately by seeking help from the teachers when needed. So basically, what she explained to me, for example, I don't have any work to do. Get out. Go. Go. Can you close the door? Um, she's been uh, basically pushing buttons and seeing what she can get away with. So if the teacher tells her to do something, um, she ignores. If uh, she's bothering the other kids, she'll ignore the teacher. They have to remove her from the room. They'll take her to the director's office. Um where they will explain to her that it's not nice to do X, Y, and Z, or please don't do X, Y, and Z, and she'll sit there and laugh in their face. So over the four months, not once did they ever call me. Over the four months, not once did they ever pull me aside, whether I'm dropping her off or picking her up and said, hey, we had this issue with Anya yesterday. Um, Did she say anything to you about it? Um, Could you please talk to her about it? Blah, 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 blah. Is there something going on at home? Nothing like that. Um, and then I do ask her afternoon teacher, um, because usually when I get there, the teachers aren't there yet. Uh, it's just like one person or a couple of people to watch a bigger group of kids. So in the afternoons, I ask her afternoon teacher who works with her on work, her level, um, you know, what's, what are you guys doing in class? You know, I'm working on, on this with her at home. What are you doing? And they never tell me about her behavior. So I'm not saying that it's a huge surprise that she's pushing buttons at school. It's not a huge surprise because the school before was saying how Aya chooses when she wants to listen and when she doesn't. But what I'm saying is we could have began to rectify the issue a long time ago. So fast forward right now that's what I'm dealing with and because you know I've gone through some changes since the summer and clearly she has to reap the results of those changes I think those changes are um, being a little hard on her but she's not verbally telling me that they're hard Um, she's not verbally telling me you know what she's thinking or how she feels about it she's acting out for attention and I'm not going to put up with it. So um, I found her a therapist near my house. Um, probably going to have to take her there once a week, which is going to be hard because I already have like a um, strict schedule with her sister where I have to be somewhere twice a week at a certain time. So this is what moms do. And I'm going to have to make it work because to me... Her behavior and her mental and everything like that is more important than, um, you know, a job 
really being present about what time I'm leaving and what I got to do. So, um, you know, reasons that you should be okay and, you know, happy about your child um, being able to talk to someone like a therapist would be, it's going to support them to learn better. And what parent doesn't want their child to be their best to be able to learn more? And anything that's going to help on your focus in school or Ari when she gets bigger, I want to do that. So um, I feel like it'll um, help her build helpful thinking patterns. So if there's anything negative coming in the way of how she thinks or how she processes information, I want that to be, you know, put out there make everyone aware of it and we can start tackling that now because a lot of times things that kids don't get help with when they're young it snowballs into a bigger issue when they're adults and I don't want that to happen um healthy behavior habits therapy can help that um that is key of why I'm seeking a therapist because everything else as far as like her language arts and um how she talks is fine. Mathematics, she's good with that. Science, science, she's good. Social skills, she's good. Art, she's good. Physical activity, she's good. It's just her behavior. And um, another thing is the fact that she's never been in a daycare setting with a lot of other kids um, since like the beginning of last year. The end of last year is when she, you know, was in a classroom with other kids. Um, My mom basically had her while I would be working for like the first three and a half years of her life. So she's she's getting used to being just her in in the house, in a room with things to it being 22 other kids her age. So um, it's a process. Uh, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. But I just want her to be mentally, emotionally, and socially comfortable with herself and with other people. And I want her to respect other people. I want her to know that, you know, the way that you would treat a child your age versus an adult, some things are not okay. I want her to understand that. And it's one thing for me to be the one to tell her and me not be around 24-7 and then for her to think that you know if I'm not around she could do whatever she wants and that's just not the case um I want to be able to access therapist questions and I want her to be able to access therapist questions and I, I hope that Anya's open to answering questions that they may have for her um so she can just be well-rounded if that makes any sense I just want my kids to be able to use the right skills to solve their life issues, period. I don't care what age they are. I just want them to be able to do it and not uh, be filled with any self-doubt. You know, therapists can help with family problems, um, sadness, grief, stress, anger. A lot of these young kids are walking around with a lot of stress from school and other kids and pressure and a lot of anger and Sometimes this music doesn't help. Sometimes these violent games don't help. Um, Sometimes the uh, social media, oh, nobody liked my picture, or oh, um, this person said this to me on Facebook or or on Snapchat, or they made this video of me. Like, There's a lot of ignorant, simple like platforms for these kids to be in their feelings about and I don't I feel like there's not enough attention on the fact that some of this social media stuff they shouldn't even be on at a certain age um because they get so caught up in it and there's more to focus on like being outside in the sun and and you know playing with other kids and doing kid-like things like I never had a phone when I was a a kid. I didn't get a phone until I was like, what, 16? And I was actually paying that phone bill. (laughs) So it's it's different. It's so different. Every time I pass the Sprint store, I am talking about, are you going to get me a new phone? No, I'm not getting you a phone. I'm not getting you a phone. You don't need a phone. So, you know, it's... (laughs) 
another thing. Um, kids can't cope alone. They can't do uh, intelligent thinking by themselves. environment for them to be able to learn how to do that the proper way and what better from a professional that has a degree in working with kids and helping them talk through and work through their issues and in the therapy session I'm sure that they're going to talk to her they're going to play with her they're going to draw with her they're going to do activities we've never done um they're going to practice new skills with her once they see what she needs to work on um, and help her through that. And solve problems that kids her age should be able to solve. And if she, you know, as she grows up, she can learn better ways of dealing with things that may come up that maybe I can't help her with. And to me, when it comes to parenting, everybody has advice and books and things to say and things they do but no child is the same and everything's not going to work for that child over there for this child vice versa so I think parenting is all about finding your way of doing things in a um, a healthy manner and the whole point of her being in therapy and me taking her to therapy is to find out the why and what she does and when she does it that's it and then from that why and and the reason behind it we're going to work on how to fix what we need to fix before it it snowballs into something we don't need because the last thing I want to do is have any disruptive children that um, cannot control themselves that grow up into full adults that cannot control themselves and <clears throat> with it being just me um, and they're going to be growing up in a well for right now uh, a single parent household I just want to make sure I'm doing the best I can and I'm doing right by them so um, yes kids in therapy is not a negative thing it's a positive thing and um, if there are any kids out there that you feel like need therapy take them to therapy her insurance is paying for it don't think that it's just something unattainable that you can't do you can do it um what else i just you know i'm just kind of optimistic about it um with everything on her um you know her parent teacher conference report they um her teacher and you know says she she reads really well you know, she writes really well and that I should look into um, her advancing past probably second grade or um, first grade uh, just so she's working on the level she knows. And I'm just going to continue to do work with her at home uh, because I feel like a lot of times when kids act out in class, sometimes they can be bored. So I did ask her teacher if it's okay for me to bring her work from home that we do when, you know, she's not napping when she's supposed to be napping at that time. She could do work uh, instead. So her teacher said that's fine. So that's what I'll be working on. So parents, caregivers, aunties, uncles, cousins, if you're taking care of a child and you're seeing, you know, repetitive you know issues and their actions and things just get them some therapy and see what that is i'm out i got um gingerbread cookies to make with them it's gonna be a little project should be fun so i'll see you later